greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy, it's a pleasure, it's an honor to be out here in nature this afternoon bringing this wonderful message of self-realization to you whereby I'm pointing you to look inwardly and when you look inwardly you will discover your identity to be your divinity. That's the reason why I want to speak to you concerning riches and poverty. And I want to ask you this very important question. Is your religious belief keeping you poor or keeping you in poverty? Let's examine. Now, I live in a country that is called a third world country. And in that country, everyone believes in Christianity. And the reason why everyone believes in Christianity is because Christianity means taught in the schools to the children. And when you are out at a very, 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 very young age, even when you go to preschool, they're teaching you to sing all of these Jesus songs and to believe in Jesus. But when you do further check upon this Jesus, you come to realize it's just an idol given to you so that you would not believe in yourself so that you would believe in a power outside of yourself and that you would be saying that actually the image and the likeness of this idol is your God and the image and likeness of this idol as far as I would have seen since I was a little child growing up it would have always been the image of a white man okay those who were religious and want to stay in their religious belief they would say he's not white he's colorless but they, when they say that they're saying that that to the wrong person they need to say that to themselves and realize that they've been brainwashed also some will say that he's a jew okay but they can never say that this one that they believe in is their own image and likeness that he looks like them okay so i'm just saying that to lay a foundation to show you that in my country and i can only speak for my country and you can put the dots together okay 99.9999999999 percent of the people have an employee mentality and they have also a poverty mentality because they have been taught that education is the key and believing in a God outside of themselves or a God in the sky or believing in, a, in, in, in Jesus which is an idol is the key towards to, to life therefore when they receive such teaching from such a young age and all of that is impressed upon the subconscious mind it is shaping the rest of their adult life and many people go through life having these kind of limited beliefs these beliefs are keeping them in mediocrity many believe that the love of money is the root of all evil when it is actually the lack of money also many fail to realize that when the bible says that the love of money it is teaching you that money must not be the first thing that you must love but you must love yourself first and that you must seek first the kingdom of God and that the kingdom of God is within you so when you seek first the kingdom of God within you you're seeking to know yourself first so when you seek to know yourself first you will know the power that you possess you will realize that you born with certain powers our mental faculties and you will realize that the educational system is robbing you from your mental faculties and the religious system is robbing you from your mental faculties and in the places like these countries that we're living there's a system of church and state so the church want to control your mind and the state want to control your mind and the easiest way to do it is to program you from a very young age through the school system or through the educational system that's the reason why my brother and my sisters there is a poverty of imagination 
where people is concerned in these parts of the world. So, when you look at, say, people in the Caribbean, and you look at people, say, in America or Europe or, 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 and so on, you see two different extremes. You see one whereby people believe that they can hardly get things to eat, or they can hardly maintain themselves. And on the other end, you find that people have so much to eat that they are obese. And the, the, among the things that they have to eat, they are genetically modified organisms. Uh, they've been put in a way to keep them in a, in, in a mindset whereby they could be controlled. While the, on the other end, these, these people down on this side fail to realize the importance of the sun. Fail to realize the natural things that are around them that was given to them for free. That's the reason why many migrate from places like, like, like where, where I'm speaking to you from here, in the tropics. When here is the place they're supposed to be, especially if you are a melanated person, you're supposed to be in the sun. Because your power is in nature, being connected to nature, being aligned with nature. As a matter of fact, all of humanity should be aligned with nature. So my brother and my sister, you have to ask yourself the question, is your religious belief keeping you poor or keeping you in poverty? Now you might say that you're not religious. But do you realize to have a religious mentality is to basically have a mentality of Paratism, what they call paratism, where you are repeating everything that was said to you from someone else. Whereby you never really think for yourself. Whereby you never really tap in to the, the infinite source that is within you. So my brother and my sisters, there are people who can say that they are conscious. There are people who can say that they no longer go to church. There, there are people who can uh, say they no longer have the belief that they had before. But yet they still carry wrong self-doubt. Yet they still carry wrong low self-esteem. And fail to embrace the truth that imagination creates reality. And that they can create a reality consciously. And many might say that they get rid of the belief. But they're not strong enough to at times Follow their intuition. When they're doing a job that they do not love, a job that they're not enjoying, and they want better, and they have a gift, and they have a talent, and they're afraid to step out. They're afraid to take that leap of faith. Like it is said about Peter in the ship, and walking on water. It is not speaking of a man 2,000 years ago. It is speaking about you. When you behold your Christ self, you would realize that you can do all things. You would realize that you can walk on water. You can step out of the ship. This is the ship that carrying us across this body. And when, and, and, and when you read of the Christ awakening in the ship and calm in the storm, it is you who would awake within this body and you speak to your storms, your situations, you control them because you come to realize that you're the Lord and Master of your own destiny and you can create your reality consciously. My brother, my sisters, I know that, I know that, I know that, I know that, I know that imagination creates reality and no one could convince me otherwise. My brother, my sisters, it doesn't matter how, how many years someone call upon an idol whether is it Jesus, whether is it uh, Allah, whether is it Muhammad, I don't care. Once you call upon that, I, any, any idol at all. Unless you learn to trust your own human imagination to the, be the creator in man. And learn to practice visualization and finding time for meditation and going in to the silence so you can listen
to your higher self, speak to you, to lead you and guide you. Unless you do that, you will never be able to tap in to your greatness, to find the pearl of great price, to understand the parable of the coin in the belly of the fish. All these things is, is all about you. Because the Bible is your own biography. That's the reason why my brother and my sisters I always teach you that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. That it is not literal, neither is it secular history, for it has no reference to anyone that existed thousands of years ago or to any actual event that took place upon earth thousands of years ago. It's all a psychological jamma. Because this life is a dream. And one day you're gonna wake awake out of the dream. And when you awake up the, out, of the, out of the gym, you'll realize that anything that you can imagine, it would be materialized. Because you can put the elements together. Earth, wind, water, fire, and you recognizing that your spirit having a human experience. So my brother and my sisters, you have to ask yourself the question. Is your religious belief keeping you poor? Because remember... You've been programmed from small. And you've been programmed to be fearful. So if there's fear in your life, you're still religious. That's the reason why religious people are the most fearful people. They're the most contradictory people. But my brother, my sister, I'm bringing a message to you. That, will, that won't contradict you. That's why you've been given a test. According to... 2 Corinthians 13 and 5, which says, Examine yourself, man. Check out yourself, man. Test yourself. See if you're in the faith or not. See if you're in the realm of the, of, 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 of the invisible, making things possible. See if you're in that realm. Then he says to you, Don't you know your own self? Hey, don't you know your own self? That the Christ is in you don't you know your own self that it's a power in you it's a creative power in you to do whatever you want to do don't you know that when it says that all things was made by him and without him wasn't anything made that was made in saint john 1 and 3 it is not speaking of a man that existed 2000 years ago it is teaching you of your own imagination teaching you that everything that was made was for us imagine and everything else that ever going to be made must first be imagined. The camera I'm looking through, it was first imagined, it was first a thought, it was first an idea. So when you do not believe that, and you believe you had a man 2,000 years ago who walked on water and turned water into wine, and you believe such a foolishness and believe that you could change the laws of the universe, you're fooling yourself because they can't plant pumpkin and reap watermelon. So if there was such a literal man and the, and the literal man gone away, and come back, come back inside of you as a spirit. You're supposed to do the same thing. So to walk on water. You're, you're supposed to turn water into wine too. That's the reason why I have a book called How to Turn Water into Wine. And show you. It's a psychological jammer. It's not a literal thing. When you say call Lazarus from the dead. It is you call him for that thing that you want to manifest. Bring it to life. That can handle it, that could touch it. Let me just say this and I'll come to a close. Everybody want a, a, a every preacher wants a private jet. They want big houses. They, they, they want all of the niceties. And they, and they have scripture for back up that too, you know. <laughs> well, let me look at the aeroplane, a, a jet, a, a vehicle. How it came into being. A man had a thought, he had an idea, and he believed in it. He put action. To the invisible because faith is being loyal to the unseen and 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 let's let, let me use orville and wilbur right because they, they they're the one who came up with the idea with the airplane okay and the father who was a was a was a church a church man he preached on them and and said that he was gonna born in hell for wanting to play god because they wanted us to fly you see so it's long time the whole church system was against people discovering that they are the creator, the Lord and master of their own destiny and that they could create their reality consciously. That's the reason why for, me, for millions of years I mean using the church system, the political system and the educational system to control the mind of people. 
So with that be said, my brother and my sister, let me just reiterate again my topic. Is your religious belief keeping you poor and keeping you in poverty? Yes, it is. That's the reason why this system is brainwashing you from a little, little, little child. If they tell you this Jesus they're talking about, which never exists, right? If when he was 12 years old, that when he really come to know and understand himself, right? Why are they teaching little children two years, three years, four years, five years? All of these Jesus song and program, program in the subconscious mind because, you know why? Because the Jesuits, which come from, which is the Catholic, they know that the scriptures say, if you're trying to child in the way that you will go, that in the future you will not depart, they understand that because they know that the Bible is, is not literal, neither secular history, that it is psychological. So once you contact a child, subconscious mind, from the time you come from the mother, mother's womb to the age of seven, once you program that child mind with a certain belief, you're going to grow right into the adult life with that kind of belief. That's why the Jesuit will say, give me a child, and by the age of seven, you have a Catholic for the rest of your life. So my brother and my sister, if the church have this length of your hand up your ass, you're going to remain poor for the rest of your life until you come to realize the power that is in you. Until you come to realize that greatness is within you. And until you come to realize that this whole church, the whole church business is just a business to gain off of your ignorance, you only realize the power that you have within you. So with all of that being said, my brother and my sisters, I want one person, one religious person to tell me one thing that was done in the Bible. Whether good or evil, that wasn't for a thought. That wasn't for mental. That wasn't for psychological. And when they tell me that, right, it, it is still have to force be a thought for them to say it. <laughs> Do you know what is a thought express? That why I can't be proven wrong. Can't. That's why I wrote a book called Can't Be Proven Wrong by Any Christian. And why use? The law of reproduction that every seed and every species must reproduce after its own kind. No man can change the law. Can't, you can't plant pumpkin and reap watermelon. So, all these preachers know who they could fool. So, with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much. And I want to encourage you, if you haven't subscribed already, to subscribe. Like or share if it is resonating with you. Because if what I'm saying is resonating with you, it is for you. Also, I just want to remind you, as usual, that this message I bring to you is the single eye. I'm pointing to this and showing you the single eye message of self-realization, of which Matthew 6.22 says, if your eye be single, your whole body would be full of light. And it is because I would have had that experience and come to understand that I was fulfilling St. John chapter 3, having the new birth, which is the birth from the skull, not a birth from down below, and come to understand that the virgin birth that they tell you is a lie. The real virgin birth is a spiritual birth from above, not a birth from down below from a woman, as they tell you, with the, with the, with the, with the Mary story. It's not true. Had it been that I had that experience, I would not have been here bringing this message to you. That's the reason I always give you the symbol of the single eye. And that's the reason why they have the single eye above the pyramid, on the US dollar and the church people try to make the people people believe that it's as evil symbol <laughs> because they don't understand the message of symbology but my brother and my sister I want to say to you when you have the experience you come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and you come to realize that everything is downloaded in you in an invisible way and the world that you are beholding outside of you is a proje projection of what is within you and that is in Ecclesiastes 3 and 11 and also you come to realize why the Bible says that in Malachi 4 and 2 that the son as in the S-U-N of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings he talking about the son and I saying his is a personification that's why most religious people they're taking personification for persons and believe the characters in the Bible they, 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 they did exist when they never exist their personification are states of mind and they're taking all the glory for history. And even Galatians 4.24 will tell you the story of Abraham, Isaac, and, 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 and Hagar, all of them. He tell you that it's all the glory. Check what he means in all the glory. So my brother and my sisters, when you come to realize, you come to realize without the sun as in the S-U-N, there is no life and there is no light. And the sun is the giver of all life. That's the reason why Psalms 84.11 tell you the Lord thy God is a son. S-U-N are talking about. Read it for yourself. 
And a shield and no good thing what he withhold from you. If the sun refuses to shine, every human being will die by the face of the sun. And they can call on Jesus. No Jesus can come and save them because no S-O-N could exist before the S-U-N and be known as the light of the world. But as usual, you know, you know, black people, you know, they call them monkey. They are monkey brain. That's why I don't afraid to say that. Most of them have monkey brain. They don't know how to think for themselves. So, my brother and my sisters, let me just end it by saying that when you come to realize that without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. You come to realize that the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. Therefore, my encouragement to you is to use your mind power, which is your solar power, your creative power, your God power to achieve your every desire. So that means said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.